What's in here is like Aladdin's cave. It's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. If you want to know anything about state-of-the-art printing, it's right behind me. Hi, Nigel. I'm Jack. Oh, pleased to meet you, Jack. Great to meet you. Welcome to 3D Print in Dublin. So we're here today to speak about 3D printing. Now, most people like me, we just think that printing can only involve ink and paper. Yes. But clearly that's not the well, case. Well, that's called 2D printing, whereby you're putting ink onto paper and it's flat. But with 3D printing, you're laying down layers of material, one on top of each other, to build up an object that you can hold in your hand. So, in the future, it's possible that everyone could have, a, could have a 3D printer sitting on their desk, at home, ready to print anything they wanted. Yeah, just like their regular printer at home. People will use them for re making repairs around the house, repairing doorknobs, or maybe using them for uh, printing out uh, bracelets for their girlfriends or their sisters. With 3D printing, I can print actual objects. How does that work? Yes, Jack, we're actually going from a digital file saved on a memory stick to a physical object that is printed out on the printer and you can hold up in your hand and you can touch and you can see the size and the shape. 3D printers here are printing away and we've taken the CAD file and we've saved it onto the memory stick and now we put it into the 3D printer and it reads the information and now it's starting to build up the model one layer at a time, one on top of the other. Eventually it ends up with a fully printed model. You can see the filament over here on the, on the spool being fed up through the Bowden tube and brought down to the hot chamber. And then it, from there it's getting extruded or squeezed out of the hot chamber down onto the build platform. And one layer at a time, it's been built up. And right now the temperature that we're, we're heating up the plastic to is 220 degrees. Other 3D printers can use chocolate and also some of them can use uh, nylon to make um, dresses and hats that you can wear. So could a designer, in theory, design something, print it out, see if it works, and then make changes to it on the computer yes. and reprint it? Yes, that's the beauty the of this. Model. He can do a rapid prototype in a few hours, look at the result, and then he or she can then tweak around with their design and then print out um, the updated uh, design. 3D printing and fashion is very exciting. The fashion industry have been, for a number of years now, uh, doing cool designs using 3D printing, um, and it's comfortable enough to wear uh, on your shoulder or as a chest piece, and the, the designs are so intricate that it's not possible for a human to try and have so much precision. This is gonna sound like a stupid question, but can you 3D print a house? Uh, yes, all you got to do, Jack, is just get the 3D printer and just make it a little bit bigger and then you'll be able to print out large kind of uh, blocks and then join them all together and you could possibly build a house in about three or four weeks. And the 3D printer just goes ahead and makes it. It doesn't know the difference between complicated and simple. It just builds what you ask it to build. So, I have my 3D robot, but I have learned so much here today. I'm gonna go home, who knows, maybe print off a few houses. I might even print off an airplane. Deadly. <laughs>